the seven step model. In problem solving and decision making, I think this model is one of the best ones I've ever seen. First thing you do is you brainstorm what appears to be the problem. You brainstorm circumstances, outcomes, opinions, inferences. Could be this, it could be this, you know what, it could be this too. Could be this, you know, this might be going wrong. And you brainstorm every possible thing you can think of that's either a cause, a symptom, or a consequence. Then you go back to step two and you take a look at what's a fact, what's an opinion, what's an inference, what do we know for sure, what's the scope. And then it isn't until step three that you decide what problem you're going to solve. Because if you solve that problem, almost all, if not all, of those symptoms will disappear. Then you brainstorm like crazy, come up with 50 ideas of how to solve the problem, have an idea of what's workable, feasible, financially affordable to make that decision. Just identify who's going to do what. And then step seven, I think, is magic too. You already know in advance you're going to get together in a couple of weeks or a couple of months to modify the decision. Because you know this, the best decisions you ever made didn't play out quite the way you planned. <laughs> the best decisions you ever made, you know, always had problems or complications you never dreamed of. So why sit around trying to come up with a perfect solution when you could just make a decision knowing in two weeks or two months you're going to modify the decision anyway? Take the pressure off. Get some feedback, no such thing as failure, and then move on.